Okay, so welcome one and all to another edition of the Gym Rat Pack Does Entertainment with me, Larry Olivari Wall. To my right, Captain Custard Cream. <laughs> I've always known as David Ashley. <laughs> and to my left, Mr. Cookie Dough. Caramel Choo Choo. <laughs> Otherwise known as Mr. L Rock. Yeah, yeah. So we're yeah. here to give you, as actors and gym rats, our perspective on everything entertainment, but especially movie and TV. And today we've got a doozy. We've got a doozy. Uh, so let's dive right in. And the first topic that we are going to talk about is uh, Tom Holland. Now, he's saying that he wants to leave Spider-Man at some point quite soon. And he's actually saying that, um, quote, quoting him, that, I'm, I, you know, if I'm playing Peter Parker at 30, I've done something wrong. I've got a lot to say on this. I've got, but, a, I've got a couple of things to say myself. Yeah, there you go. I, I bet you do. He's got but five years left because he's only 25. Let, so. let's, let, and he looks bloody 16. Yeah. But anyway, let's re, let's read the, um, the article. And um, who's it come to us by? This article yes. comes to us via IndieWire. IndieWire. Right. IndieWire reputable? Yes. yes, I think they are. Right, Tom Holland has starred as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man in five Marvel Cinematic Universe films. But his upcoming sixth go-around as the web-slinger in Spider-Man No Way Home is expected to be his most gigantic MCU outing thus far. That's because the No Way Home plot breaks open the multiverse, allowing villains from every previous Spider-Man film to collide into one timeline and setting up another decade of potential sequels and spin-offs. Will Holland be back as Spider-Man? Probably, considering a, a post credit scene in Venom Let There Be Carnage, all but guaranteed a Sony tentpole pitting Spider-Man against Venom. But for now, No Way Home is the end of Holland's current Spidey contract. Maybe it's time for me to move on, Holland recently told GQ magazine. Maybe what's best for Spider-Man is that they do a Miles Morales film. I have to take Peter Parker into account as well because he is an important part of my life. If I am playing Spider-Man after I'm 30, I've done something wrong. Comic book favourite Miles Morales made his film debut in Sony's animated Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, one of the most acclaimed superhero movies of the last decade and an Academy Award winner for Best Animated Feature. Fans have been clamouring for years for Sony to bring Miles Morales into the live action space. Uh, let me go into more. Even if Holland is already eyeing life after Spider-Man, Sony sure as hell do not want to let him go. As Spider-Man producer and former Sony boss Amy Pascal told GQ, I've talked to him about doing like a hundred more of these films. I'm never going to make Spider-Man movies without him are you kidding me yeah uh he talked some other bollocks to be honest with you but I read the rest of it. yeah uh, okay. that, that yeah so i'm gonna put it to you leon what do you make of that article and what he says about yeah well <laughs> i think some people just are just overprivileged <laughs> to start with Overprivileged, <laughs> you you know you get one of the the best roles in the world, and you know yeah he looks young, he looks young. He can do. Why couldn't he do it at thirty? He, he could he could conceivably play Spider Man for another ten years. At yeah, least. Mm -hmm. yeah, because of how he, he really looks. Yeah. It's not like back in the day, Greece, when everyone's supposed to be sixteen and and, and you know and John Travolta <laughs> was like thirty six or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, uh, it's it's not that it's not that like yeah. why wouldn't you want to carry on? I, I mean, I have my own theories. Does he want to do something else? I, I think is he scared that he's going to get typecast, and when it is all over, possibly that he's stuck. Mm. Possibly. I mean, look, as 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 with any actor, like we know, as we are, we are mm -hmm. actors. We want to be challenged with yeah. different roles. Yeah. But my thing is, 
with Spider Man, as you put it, it's one. It's probably one of it's one of the best roles ever. Yeah, mm. because you are constantly being challenged. Because each film is different from the last. Yeah. Mm. So I can't see how you could be bored playing Spider Man. I I I don't know. What What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. But then doing anything over and over again gets boring. Yeah. Like if I if I really look at it, I mean. He's sitting from a position, like I said, a privilege. You know, like you can, he can afford to say, "I'm done now." Yeah. How much has he made oh. from five? He set for life, right? He set, set for, for life. life. He set for life. His children, his children, yeah, children yeah, yeah, are set for, life. set for life. So he yeah. wants something different, mm. and I can't blame him. I at first, I was thinking, "Are you, you know?" But I'm thinking to myself, like, I don't want to do the same thing for five years. I'm an actor. You want to sit in EastEnders for five years? Yeah, but come on, dude. That's know. apples and oranges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know? That's apples Brooks and oranges. I mean, personally, yeah. let me tell you this now. If they get me be Luke Cage, yeah. I'm happy to do that until the wheels fall off. Okay. And I, and I, until and we blatantly because call I, 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 Yeah, because <laughs> I am Brooke a comic Cage. book head yeah. and Luke Cage is one of my favourite characters of yeah. all time. Yeah. I'll, I'll be very happy to play that until yeah. the wheels fall off. Yeah, 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 you yeah. Know what I mean? To the end of your career. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm very happy to do that. Okay. Would the next man want to do that? Probably not. So I, I do take his point in 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 that maybe he might have he might be bored with the, with, with the character. Mm. There's some other issues as well. But let me put it to you uh, first, Damien. What do you make of that article and him saying this? I mean, Leon's point about you know he's speaking from a certain position. I agree with that, but at the same time, he has been doing this for over five years now. When you look at it. Like cause what he did the first his entrance was two thousand fifteen with civil war yeah mm. yeah so two thousand fifteen was his entrance mm. um he's been doing it for six years by the time this comes out it'll nearly be seven years going into next year because he's obviously going to be in a film next year where Spider Man makes an appearance yeah yeah he's saying by the time he's thirty so that would at least be well he's twenty four now isn't he twenty five twenty five okay so by the time he hits thirty that would have been nearly what twelve years. In the same character, mm. so, by so maybe that point, he's just planning his exit yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. maybe yeah. it's not instant. Oh, I'm not doing yeah. anymore. It was, yeah. yeah, I'm planning like, it into my thirties. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because yeah. yeah. I'm looking. Uh, at the next I, time, I, right? I see, I see what you. But to say you've done something wrong, I, I just feel it's well, a bit strong. Well, where did he say? No, he said I'll be doing something wrong if I'm still playing in my. Yeah, 30s, his, his exact he, quote was, uh, "I've done something wrong if I'm playing Peter Parker at 30. Yeah. Which I don't understand why he would say. Well, thought, unless he's really bored of that character, or he's, he knows that at that point he will be bored of the character, and he's got other things that he. Well, it's his too far. Or maybe unless he imagines himself to probably look too old at that point, because he's probably thinking like, depending on where I want to go, Peter Parker. Because you got to think it's been re envisioned three times now in less than twenty years. Mm. You know, so I mean, there's no other. I mean, you could possibly say Batman, but even then, was about. George Clooney was like what, 96. I'm trying to discount that film, but like <laughs> all those, films, yeah, Batman Balls, like, you know, that was over a span of 30 years when Ben Affleck stepped into it. Yeah. But like, Spider Man has been rehashed quicker than any other main, like, film, like, yeah. superhero. Yeah. So maybe he's thought, you know what? Because at this point, he would have probably done it the longest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's this, true. Is, this is his third main film, which Tobal Guy did three. Yeah. And, but he's also done Civil War. He's also done two or three Avengers movies now. So he's done the character six times. He hasn't done three Avengers movies. Civil oh, War, and then, Avengers. Oh, you're, you're yeah. choosing. Yeah, Civil War is like a mini Avengers movie. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah. So, like, he's, he's made six appearances as Spider Man. Though. Yeah. So he's done the most out of all of them. Yeah. Um, he hasn't made the most. I mean, in comparison, I think uh, Maguire's rated at like 75 million, his net worth. Whereas Holland's currently, I mean, it was on paper, he's currently between 15 and 18 million net worth. Okay. So fifteen and what? Fifteen and eighteen million net worth. Fifteen. Yeah, I thought it would have been more. I think it's between more than fifteen that. and eighteen. We're, that's we're, what he's rated. We're, at where, where, where did that come the from? The two, uh, two articles straight away. The top two that come up. It's not um, net, common net on the website, but the top two that come up say he's between fifteen and eighteen. I never trust those sites. How yeah. do they know? They, they say that he's made more than Garfield has. Garfield's rated a thirteen net worth. Yeah, but I, McGuire's I, rated a lot more. I never trust those those yeah. websites. How do they know? Yeah. yeah, they're not they're not privy to anyone's contract. So. Yeah, so but they, yeah. they, they obviously base it off of box office revenue and everything else. It, and what come on, I, did, I, yeah, I know. They I know, say know, they say I'm worth a couple mil, and I, know. Let, I, know. I can tell you this now, I am not. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's actually a net worth for me, which I find hilarious because wow. I don't have a net worth. Wow. Uh, unless wow. you count like, the amount of times I appear online with not money. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This brother's worth less. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the rest of us. <laughs> Why wow, have you even got a network? Uh, yeah, uh, no, so please no like. Idea. Yeah, that's what we're worth. <laughs> if we're worth a like, <laughs> please just press a like. button. No, though. Uh, like, like, please. Um, I, I mean, look, there, there's, there's also. I will, I will take into consideration the fact that with these big temporal films, mm. there is a hell of a lot of promotion. Yeah, and they must get bored. Yeah, seriously mm. bored of that. I mean, we're talking months away, yeah. Yeah. traveling all over, all the, world, over yeah. the world, just talking on the breakfast talk, and you got TVs, the, yeah. the midday TVs. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he's yeah. probably had the least break of all of them because his Spider-Man films were one of the last ones to come out. Yeah, and he's done three of them in a short space of time. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. the other ones have been stretched out since what two thousand and nine. That's yeah. right. So yeah. like he's had like the breadth of that. Pretty much, he hasn't had much of a break. It's no. true, he hasn't. He hasn't. Not that we're saying you deserve a break because you're 15 million, but at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> but I can see his point yeah, because you know, got, got going on on you know traveling the world, going on talk shows and and, and I know, interviews what, and what life. I I, I know. I it, feel it, for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it it can get to the point oh, yeah. where you just oh, yeah. sod this. I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I don't you know? actually have to do this. Yeah. When you're yeah. in a position where you don't have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Just yeah. like yeah. any job. Yeah. Any job. Yeah. That's, it's the classic. Um, who's the boxer? Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler. It's, it's hard, hard to, to get, get up and, and run and... when you're still in silk sheets. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when you, when you're well. sleeping in silk sheets. Yeah. Which I think my man Anthony Joshua was suffering from. But yeah, here we yeah. go. But um, yeah. But it, it, it's true, and and that is very true. You know, when you're hot, you're, you're 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 hungry. You've got no money. Yeah. You're ready to bust your ass yeah. when you're comfortable. You know, it's, it's like do when the hunger pains are settled. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When the hunger hunger pains are yeah, settled, yeah, man, yeah, man. The fight, yeah. Because so we... I've seen his enthusiasm when he first got the role, mm. and he was talking about his audition process, and he was talking mm. about yeah, because he was a former gymnast. Yeah, he yeah. flipped onto the the start mark, and they were just so impressed by it. And, yeah. Yeah, and that's how I hardly got the role, basically, you know. Right. Um, and now it's come to the point where it's just like, yeah, if I'm playing it, I'll, you know, at 30, um, mm, yeah, yeah, I've done something wrong. So, I understand it. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I, I see where he's coming from. I mean, everyone's different. Yeah. Uh, so let me ask you a question. Mm. If you, because we can't play Spider-Man, Peter Parker. <laughs> well, I, I, but if you can I'm play... already too old. I'm 35. <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> but, if, but if you could play that... And would you ever get bored of that? So I'm not in the situation. It's a problem. It's it's hard to give. I can give a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, it's a hypothetical. Because in my current, you know, in my current position, I'm not wiping my ass. <laughs> I'm wiping my ass with whatever I can get from Tesco's for a pound. So you know, I'm not in that position. But I don't know. I think as an actor as well, I think when you look at his body of work, what he's just been recently, like Cherry, which he just done, which is like some real yeah. kind of military and film. And Uncharted as well. Uncharted. He's also done that weird The Devil with him, that's whatever it's called. Well, I've not yeah, like he, he's done, he's gone out and done some very kind of different films, kind of really kind of take himself mm. away from the, mm. the Marvel Universe mm. and the clean cut image of Peter Parker. Yeah. Would I want to be stretched at some point as an actor? Yeah. I mean, if, you're, if you are an actor who wants to do parts, yes, you want to be stretched. Yeah. yeah. If I could still do it, and enjoy it. I mean, Hugh Jackman managed to do that for so many years. Yeah, he just didn't um, enjoy working out. That was his no, only thing. That was the one thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Fair if, enough. If, you're not, if you're not a gym guy, yeah. you're not a gym yeah. guy. You know what I mean? And I have to respect the hustle because for a guy who didn't enjoy working out, he, he got in some in. bloody yeah, shape. He put the work yeah. in. <laughs> you know what I mean? He did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, I'll take your point. I'll take your point. Leon, let me put it to you. I don't know. A dream role. Um, <laughs> maybe a, a comic book movie part. Um, or even the part that we spoke about, you know. Um, I think. Now I have to put myself in the shoes of a. Uh, how old was he when he got the role? Who? Um, Tomorrow would have been nineteen. Nineteen, something yeah. like that. So know. nineteen for five years doing the same thing. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that age. Yeah, from that perspective, right? Yeah. Okay, if I'm yeah, 19, yeah, yeah, you don't want to just keep doing Man, the same thing, yeah, like, yeah, because. 
at 19, when you've got such a, a great accolade so early, mm. everything else sort of just, I want to do that now. I want to do that. I want to go to yeah. the theatre. I want to yeah. be in this. Yeah. You want to do other things. Yeah. I think mm. as my age, mm. I, you know, I yeah. will grab it with two hands mm. and run with and it. And I will run until the wheels fall off. <laughs> yeah. until, the, until they're like, Leon, you can't, <laughs> you can't do Spider-Man. Like, you're grey all over. <laughs> you, you know, like, it's not going to work. And I'm like, please, one more. Stop one more. turning up to set yeah, on stop. your blimmin' retirement bus <laughs> transaction. And you're zimmer frame. Do you know what I mean? That's like, that's like me and, me, me and uh, Damien at 90 trying to do martial art films. Yeah. No, you no, lot. Yeah. No. Trying to no. Steven Seagal. <laughs> like, no. So, well, for, I could because there's nothing for the legs done anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> for his age, I get it. Yeah. For me, yeah, I, think, I, I would grab it with two hands mm. and, and never let go. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, Spider Man, yeah, yeah. never yeah, let go. Yeah. Mm. Never let go. Mm. I mean, even if I wanted to do other things, I mean, I would just ask for a bit more of a break in between each film. But then there's a the thing is he allowed, is at a point where is where is his allowance coming to what he can say and can't say? Yeah, like yeah. It obviously say? depends on the contract, but I think yeah. that he's at a stage now where he's made him so much money. As you heard, Amy Pascal, she yeah. she does she does she does not want to let him you go. You can make it to your ninety five. Yeah, just keep bringing. Do you know what I mean? She does not. So she knows he's yeah. got a certain amount of power now, mm -hmm. where he can say, right, I I want this 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 and this, mm -hmm. and I think they'll have to bend. Yeah, because yeah. they know like he. Because I think for a lot of people, like we were talking about. The fav our favorite Spider Man, and I, you know, mm. I mentioned Tom Holland mm. being my favorite, and I think for a lot of people, he's their favorite. Yeah, and I think she knows that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, but in saying that, because of this multiverse, depending on how it mm. ends, mm. what Spider Man's left, mm. you don't know how they're gonna try and. Because it could be a random Spider-Man, like every all the other Spider-Mans are dead or something, well, see, and they've left this one. This is, Who and, is and, this? And, and, and that's saw, the entry to the new Spider-Man. But you saw in the article that yeah. you mentioned about Mars Morales. Well, that's what I was um, saying to you in the trailer. Like, I think that yes. this could be the perfect opportunity. It, it could segue. It, it, yeah. yeah. it could be. Because Miles Morales, as you saw with Into the Spider-Verse, is a very popular character. Yeah. And you got to think... Sorry, go ahead, please, please. No, no, no. I was just going to say Sorry. he's extremely popular. But yeah, that's yeah. it. Like, how did they introduce Spider-Man? They didn't introduce like Tom Holland's one. They didn't introduce him in his own film. They introduced him in Civil War. Yeah. Then yeah. he came in. Yeah. Best way to introduce Miles yeah. Morales, multiverse. Yeah. Bring him in bring and him then in. give him his yeah. own film. Yeah. Because then you know everyone's going to want to see his own film afterwards. Now, so he got, now he's got my juices flowing, thinking that see? Miles Morales is going to be coming. Yeah. It, it was the same thing. With Black, it was the same thing with Black Panther. The moment you saw him in Civil War, you're like, "Where's he yeah, talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. When's yeah. he starting? So as I saw the trailer with him in there, yeah, I'm like. Where's my? Where's the tickets? Yeah. Take, shut up and take my money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one of them ones. Kinda forever. Straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda <Yeah>. tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, it was definitely a case of shut up and take my money, and it will yeah. be the same with this Spider-Man film. I can't wait to see this film. Uh, yeah. This is why we're all going opening night, people. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, um, I, yeah. Let's let's see how this unfolds. I mean. I, I, you make a very good point, um, Damien and Leon, mm. about the age thing. Mm. And I think, yeah, if, I, if I'm at his age... Because, you know, at that age, you think you're you're indestructible. You well, you think, are. You it think was handed too early. Yeah, yeah. You, you just think, you oh, I can, I, can, I can leave this and I'll find something else, you know. Mm. Yeah. Whereas at and our age... And will. Yeah, and you oh, yeah, will, because yeah, he's a fantastic will. actor. Yeah. Mm. I, I'm a big Tom Holland fan, I have to mm. say. Yeah. But at our age, we're like, we're not... We're like, no, this is a sure thing... I'm, I'm, I want this, and yeah. that's, don't worry about Staying the rest. <laughs> I, I, actually, and when they kick me out, I'm directing. <laughs> you know them ones. Like, Just keep that money rolling yeah. in. I got kids to feed. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh man! But anyway, so yeah, let us know what you think of this. Um, would do, Would you expect uh, Tom Holland to go on past thirty? Do you agree with him that if he's still doing it by 30, he's done something wrong? Um, who's your favourite Spider-Man? Garfield, Maguire or Tom Holland? Let us know in the comments down below. Under the siege. Bomsky! <laughs> right about now. Jim Rat Pack back again. Next topic. Next topic is uh, the fact that they are... I don't understand why. But then <laughs> they're doing an under siege. Well, an under siege reboot is mm. in the works at Warner Brothers for HBO Max. 
So it's not actually looking to go to theatres. I think they got a bit of sense. Yeah, it was. Um, it ain't gonna do well. Mm, in the yeah, yeah. With uh, Timo, you know how to pronounce that? Timo Paul Tahajanto. Okay, Tahajanto. Do. Directing and Umari Alim writing. Right. So this article. And for those that don't know, Under Siege. Under Siege. Is it's almost like a cult classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a cult classic. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, maybe yeah. a lot of money came that though. Starring our favorite uh, actor slash martial artist Steven yeah. Seagal. Steven I say, Seagal. I say that in jest. <laughs> Steven Seagal is not our favorite. No. Hell no, no. Um, yeah, so this comes to us via Deadline, and it says a reboot of the nineteen ninety two. Shit, that's an old film, man. I was, I was 12. Seven. I was 12. How old was, was I? Seven. Was you 12? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah, yeah, you are. Oh, shit. Well, you thought you... Oh. How old were you? I Yeah. Uh, only about two years. That's all. Good. Nothing in it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're black, there's nothing in it. When you're Damien, <laughs> there's a lot in it. Mate, don't yeah. try and get in it. Yeah. Okay. So, a, a, re <laughs> a reboot of the 1992 hit Steven Seagal action movie Under Siege is underway at Warner Brothers with Timo Tahajanto uh, directing and Umara Aleem writing. The duo I hear collaborated and developed the pitch together with the movie being planned to stream on HBO Max. There's no word yet if Seagal will replies, rep reprise his oh, role please, as, no, as Casey happen. Ryback. Not the ex-Navy SEAL turned cook who was the only person in that movie to stop a group of terrorists from taking control of a US battleship. The movie, directed by Andrew Davis, grossed over $156 million worldwide. It's not much. Yeah, but back in 92. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, actually, it was. it was. How much in 92? It was 156 million. That's a what? No, 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 that was a lot. Yeah, that's no, no, banging. I'll, I'll take that back. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 I think it was the number one box office hit for a while. And for Steven Seagal. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he makes about 20 quid now. <laughs> 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 he don't make nothing. I don't know. Uh, he's looking after Vladimir Putin. When, yeah. when it was released and spawned a 1995 sequel, Under Siege 2 Dark Territory which minted over 104 million plus worldwide. That sequel made that much money? Yeah. That sequel was Tommy, sequel Tommy Lee dead. Jones and Gary Busey starred in the first movie. Indonesia. Oh. They got the Indonesia. These guys are killing Hollywood now, man. Indonesian filmmaker Tahajanto got his start by directing the VHS uh, 2 segment, Safe Haven. Mm -hmm. He went to, on to direct The Night Comes For Us. We were told to. <laughs> wait, 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 keep going, keep okay, going. Okay, Night Comes For Us oh, and May oh, The wait. Devil Take I You. Know what do Both titles which premiered at Fantastic Fest and are available on Netflix. Okay, so we got to get watching. Mm. Uh, previously, he wrote and directed Killers, Headshot. Headshot! Yeah. Headshot and Portals. Jahanto is currently attached to direct the New Line remake of Korean hit Train to Busan which we hear could be titled Last Train to New York. Atomic Monster and, and Galma are producing that feature alongside Gary Dalberman, who wrote the script. Um, it goes on to talk about some other crap, uh, which we don't need to get into. Okay. So, for all you big Indonesian uh, fan, um, Support uh, supporters us. of ours, um, yeah, we see the films that you've mentioned. We will be watching and reviewing those in due course. Due course. Mm, Definitely. 100%. 100%. So, I see Damien is very eager, eager to talk speak. Eager <laughs> so, let's to speak. let him off. Let him off. So, okay. Well, right. let him off to leave. Let him off. Let right. off. So, if you guys have seen The Night Comes First and you've seen um, Headshot, who's the main star of those films? Your boy is the main star of those films. Eco is the main star of those movies. Eco they always. haven't cast this film yet. Who is behind this film? Oh, yeah, it comes snap. Like a so, who better to be a chef on oh. a boat with good knife skills, then your boy Eco. That's Bro, what I'm going to say. If they give the starring role to Eco, I, I am watching that. That is, that's what I'm, I am yeah. watching. Do you know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I think that's a very big possibility. And I think that's also one of the reasons why they want to put it on HBO Max and not cinematic. Mm. Because they want to test that. 
yeah. how you know because yeah. it's his first starring role yeah. in a in a Hollywood film. If he's film. a starring, yeah, yeah, but I think he can carry it. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. I've got, I've got all day. no doubt about that. But um, I, I, I just see why. I see why. Yeah, yeah. I see why. But I hope people come out and support. I know the Indonesian people, big up, big up, mm. will come and support him. But I hope the Westerners, especially Americans, support him and watch that film when it comes. If, if I mean, we're, we're being presumptuous now. Yeah, but, <laughs> but yeah, we're start, making... start the hashtag now. Past <laughs> Eco in Under Siege. Yeah, under Siege, say. yes, the reboot. Please. Hashtag bye bye because, Steven. Yeah, <laughs> we, I, I want I want all traces of Steven Seagal taken off of yeah. that. Yeah. I want Eco. I want Eco. Yes, e that that will be big. Or I see where you... yeah. big up, big up, Damien. Big up. I, I told you when he I heard the villain, when I hear come to that voice. He could be like, the villain, isn't it? Yeah. He could be the villain. Me. <laughs> 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 you can be a side villain. Or, 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 or it could be Black Man and Robin. There yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, no, no, you. That's that's big. It just makes sense to me. That, like, it, it does. It, because, it does. Okay, you need at the time Segal was coming into it. That was like his first proper. I mean, he did Nico. He did Mark for Death. But that was his biggest American entrance. But I think mm. I preferred Mark for Death. Yeah, I did. Oh, Mark for Death. I love Mark, Mark for Death. Death. True yeah. Fierce. Yeah. Have you ever known the True Fierce? Have you got to kill him? Nah, I'm going to kill him. Nah, I'm going to kill him. Where is that guy? I've never seen that guy. I don't know if you did. I don't know if you did. Mate. He was wicked in that, man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Look, bro. Uh, guys, I, 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 Damien, you, you, yeah, yeah. If they Start. do what we hope they're going to do, yep. it's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100%. Because it, just think, um, the, the, the complexity of the fight in the choreograph yep. on the ship. Yep. Like, yep. it's going to be amazing. Sick. Yeah. It's going yeah. to be amazing. Sick. So if they haven't, and they're not thinking about it, start the trend now on Twitter or whatnot. Get on there. Bro, hashtag Eco Your Eyes. Eco Your for Under Siege Reboot. Yep. And as the villain, they could also have Mad Dog. <laughs> and we can, or, or, or Sesep. Out of number two. Number two. I was just about to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we can have that kitchen scene yep. all over again. Oh, please. oh man, that that would be awesome. Mm. Or awesome. please, everyone from Indonesia. There's 277 million of you. Spam Twitter right hashtag right the hell out of it right and go Uko ways for Under Siege reboot. Please, please, just do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Do it for your boy, man. Do it for your boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, that 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 would be a fantastic cast. Fantastic. I, I can't even because right now, to be honest, the only other guy I could think of was the other guy that was in that little clip with him and in Expendables, Jason Statham. That's the only other guy I could think that could pull that off right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right now. Right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. And, but I'd rather see Eco. Of I'd rather see Eco. Or put Jason as the villain. That could work. It. That Make could him, work. Make him be, a, you know, you're that, could, that could work. Make yeah. Him be a that, yeah, that yeah, could work. He can be, he can be a good villain. Yeah, 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 that could work. I hope they don't go the other route and do the reverse of that. Or now Eco is a villain. Yeah, I don't, nah, I won't work. Because yeah, Eco doesn't have that face. Do no. you know what I mean? He he, he play, the thing is, he plays a villain in Here Comes the Night for us. He, he, I can't remember the okay. he plays a villain in that because okay. it's um, Joel Taslim who plays the hero in it. Does he? Does it suit him? Yes and no. He kind of pulls it off, but the reason they, they pass is because he plays like the brother, like, half brother of Joe Tassin. Because they're really, they're really very close. Mm. And basically, he's a gangster in the movie. Joe Tassin used to work for him, and now he's kind of on his way out of it. And the final fight sequence is bloodthirsty, and it's it's got a lot of moments where you literally freak out really? with the movements in it. Yeah, wow. but um, he's okay as a villain. He calls like, a hero though. He's a hero. He's yeah, a hero. I'd rather see, like see him. Fight his way through the ship. Yeah, and take because he he up. he knows, as we discussed yeah. um, on the Raider review, he knows how to deliver the stakes. Yeah. Thank you. I know that's what you're, you're going to say. You. And he played the chef Thank in War Assassins. He played the chef in War yes, Assassins. Yes, he's already prepped yes. for the role. Yeah, he's yeah. already prepped for the role. I'm sure yeah. this brother can cook as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, 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 that's he's actually got me jazzed for a reboot now. Yeah. Uh, I started off like we were both like there. And now he's yeah. got us jazzed yeah. for it. Yeah. I mean, so I thought of Eco doing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Life like... became worth living it. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, so boy. tell us, please, what do you think of an Under Siege reboot, first of all? Mm. And with obviously the guys that are helming it, 
What do you think of the possibility of Eco Ways playing this part uh, of Casey Ryback or the equivalent of that uh, Steven Seagal played? Please, please, please spam Twitter and make this happen. Or <laughs> to show your support for Eco, smash the like. Please. Just smash the like. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so let us know in the comments what you think of this. And uh, yeah, yeah, let's let's hope for the best, man. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Energy. Bombs <laughs> key. <laughs> DJ Leon in the house. Bumsky. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this girl. Oh, uh, do you know what you sound like? Yeah. That you know, girl from Mystique. The girl. Yeah. What would you think? I'm sorry. You? Alicia Dixon. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the piss. Like. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to keep this tight. <laughs> All I want <laughs> is to be with you. <laughs> okay, concert's over. Right, our next topic <laughs> is... And away we go. <laughs> and away we go. I don't even know if it's on the way here, right? Can, <laughs> can we start the topic, please? Okay. All right. Okay, our next topic is um, Netflix is now changing the way they rank their movies and TV series. Uh, they used to rank it with um, total views, and now they are going to start ranking it by the total viewing time. So, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. We are going to go... We're going to go deep. That's the article. Oh, is that the article? Okay, so this article comes to us via deadline. And it says, uh, Netflix released a treasure trove of data on its most popular movies and series that threw new light onto just how incredibly popular some of its offerings have been. What's more, the, the streamer committed to doing so on a weekly basis. The weekly data will reflect total hours viewed rather than the company's previous metric of at least two minutes of watch time counting as a household view. Deadline uh, curated running lists of the most popular Netflix shows and movies by household views up until the metrics changed in November 2021. You can see them here. Let me give you the so metrics. Given the streamers switch to total hours viewed as its core metric, We've created new tallies of its most watched movies and series on Netflix. The, those lists are below, and unlike the Netflix listings, they blend both English and non-English fare into one definitive list, each for TV and movies. Release dates are listed for context. So it gives you a list, and it says, the most watched TV um, with their new metric... Mm. Uh, so the first one is obviously Squid Game versus uh, Season 1. The next one, number two, is Bridgerton Season 1. Uh, three is Money Heist Part 4. Four, uh, four is Stranger Things 3. I know you like that. Uh, five is The Witcher Season 1. And six is 13 Reasons Why Season 2. It goes to 10, but we don't need to read that. And in the most watched films, uh, the first one is Bird Box. Yeah, I don't know that. Uh, the second one is Extraction. Third one is Irishman, which is quite surprising. Uh, mm. Fourth one is The Kissing Booth 2. And the fifth one is Six Underground. Um, again, I won't go into the thing because I give you ten of them. What's number ten? Just out of curiosity. Murder Mystery. Okay. Uh, I, I've never been a fan of there. Uh, apart from the, the only film I've seen on there, the only two films I've seen on there, is Extraction and Irishman. Have I've you seen Bird Box? I've seen Bird Box. I like Bird Box. I haven't seen Bird Box. I haven't seen I've only seen Extraction and the Irishman. I've seen Bird Box, Extraction, the Irishman, Six Underground with um, Ryan... Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Um, mm. I don't know I haven't seen. The Old Guard I've seen. I heard that's pretty good, actually. Not, the, old the, the Old Guard is better than Six Underground. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, what do you guys make of this? I mean... There, it is a little bit better than their old metric, but I mean, Damien, I'll put it to you. What 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 are you? What are your feelings on this? I mean, I agree with that because like you're you're tapping into audience participation and involvement and engagement. Like you're not just tuning in, getting bored of the five minutes and switching off. Because 
you can make a bunch of shows that everyone tunes in for the first five minutes and they go, you know what, don't make it, and just switch off. And yeah, it's still then bounces it's, of you. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably why Irishman's doing so well, because it's nearly three hours down long. So like, we count yeah. it on minutes based. Yeah. But um, no, it's like, I'd rather count it on that because there's got to be so many shows people have like started to get into or films started to get into and like halfway through they've gone, nah, it's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're basing it on quality, then yeah, why not base it on a metric of how long people have stayed tuned for? Yeah. That makes more sense to me. I definitely think it's a better metric uh, than what they were using before. I yeah. will go into why I don't think it's the best though. Um, mm. still has holes in it but I don't think there's a, 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 a but, uh, yeah I don't think there is what, what, yeah. what are you what are your feelings on it Leon much the same as Damien yeah really yeah mm. Re retention is everything mm. Mm. because there's so many things I've been excited for I've pressed play after about 10 minutes I'm like this is not it mm. or even after you know, I'm watching a series you're a couple shows deep you're like nah yeah and then yeah. I start something else mm. and I might come back to it I might not mm. And I like to know, you know, what's holding people. Mm. Mm. See, you, you pose an interesting dilemma there because if they're going to rank it by watch time, mm. Mm. then by your by what you've just said, basically, it could skew the numbers either way still. Mm. Because if you've got someone, like, watching it every, I don't know, every few minutes and they keep doing that, mm. the watch time obviously goes up. Mm -hmm. But it's not really showing how popular that film is. Do you see what I'm saying? Does, no. that, make, does that make sense? Mm, no? no? Tell me no. again. But so so if you're if you're terms. so basically <laughs> they'll add up all the watch time. Yeah. yeah. So let's say in a household for instance, yeah. one watches it five minutes, one watches it ten minutes, one watches it fifteen minutes. Yeah. You know, there's Oh what the same programme. Yeah. What yeah. at different times. Yeah. 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 That yeah. all adds up. Now that's not really showing how if it's a if it's a, a film that's one and a half hours, mm. that's not really showing how popular it is because you, you're only watching it for fifteen minutes and mm. you've turned off. Mm -hmm. Someone else has watched it for ten minutes, they've turned off, but they're ranking it based on all of those watch times. Mm. So there could be loads of people watching films like that or programs like that. Mm. Right, and, and, and us. Yeah, but, and, and it could rank high even though it's probably no good. But are they not basing it on how long they've stayed on it for? No, no, it's that's just total it watch time. This is this is the point I'm, I was making uh, okay. earlier. Yeah, so well, this, that wouldn't uh, make sense. This, because this, this time, is what I'm saying. I've been back to the same film mm. all five times. Right. Mm. You know, like, because right. I'm watching it just as a bit of filler. Mm. It's mm. not that great. Mm. I'm having to switch it off, go and do something else. Right. Two nights later. Oh, mm. let me see what's going on. You know, yeah. watch a bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. I've done. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. I, 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 I mean, the situation that I mentioned just before, yeah. I've had that situation where... I've watched the film. Mm. I didn't like it. I didn't say anything to my missus. My missus watched the film. Mm. She didn't like it. She didn't say anything to Kevin, my you know, one of my, my son. Yeah. And he's watched the film. Yeah. He didn't like it. So if yeah. you've but, watched half an hour of it, right? Yeah. But we've all watched half an that hour, counts and that all counts <laughs> towards the watch time. Yeah. yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. How many households yeah. is that happening in? Do you see what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And so, so a lot of crappy films or crappy TV series yeah. mm. are going to be ranked quite high because of that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. So, yeah, I, I mean, I'd, I'd like a bit more clarity on what exactly they mean by total watch time. Like, are they? Are they? Are well, they, they literally mean. Well, that, as far as we know, that's that, that's what they mean. Total viewing time. Mm. So it's the total time it's been viewed, whether it's ten minutes or yeah. one minute. Yeah. They're adding it all up. You know, so it's not a perfect metric either. I mean, it might be a little bit better than what they had. Yeah, because it was just before. two minutes previously. Yeah, yeah, that it is a it bit was better. What two just minutes? Two minutes. That counts as a view. Yeah. Imagine if you, you watch got... it for two minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a, a whole view. view. That's a view, which is nonsense. Yeah, you know it is what nonsense. Nonsense. that means I mean, technically, <laughs> ten minutes. They're giving you the bloody intro half the time. <laughs> and you can, like, two technically, minutes. you can hold over. When you know you can watch it on your TV or computer, you can hold over on your mouse and just watch it play in the panel. That plays for two minutes sometimes. Yeah, Does yeah, that count? yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't know. What about the trailer? Uh, no, no, not the trailer. The What's actual, the trailer? Two to... minutes. No, but the actual <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, they can't. Yeah. That, but no, I'm not gonna. No, I'm looking at some of the shows, I'm like, Bridgerton. Well, I know. No, Bridgerton is popular. I know. Bridgerton's so very popular. Yeah, so Ozark's I, not in it. Uh, right. Why is Ozark so, not so, in so it? Tell me how Ozark is not in and there. You, I, I, I watched you, no offence, you guys that love that show, but don't know why the leads are weird. Well, how is Ozark not in that top 10 list? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense reasons to me. reasons why season one and two is in there. Money Heist are not very popular. But I just, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. What, what it, is it? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Know. And then think about all the popular stuff that's been on Netflix. So 
Okay, it, it's a guilty pleasure, but yeah. Tiger King, that that went gangbusters when it yeah, came out. Yeah. Why is that not on here? Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know, man. It's it's a bit. I don't know. It's a. I, I don't know, man. But is there a perfect metric? I mean, what, what else? About Breaking you... Bad. Is that on Netflix? What, what it was on Netflix, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but yeah, because it's not Netflix produced. These are all Netflix produced. Oh, Netflix, yeah, produced. Netflix produced. So is Ozark's Netflix produced? Probably yes, not. it is. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's it still did a big show. That, yeah. that, that, I can't believe that. That, that show yeah. is so popular. You know, not just because. Not just because. Well, I mean, it's got just, it's got Stranger Things free, so okay, I get that because I know that's popular. Stranger yeah. Things. That's what I'm telling you. So it's more popular. Just don't than watch the new trailer time. for season four. Cause, yeah, because yeah. even my man doesn't know what's going yeah. on. <laughs> but I'm still so, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it just doesn't. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I don't. Some of them I get it. Like some of them I get it. Some of them I don't. So because even when you look at that list, well, I didn't think Enola Holmes was apparently did, did that well. Really? I didn't think. If, I didn't well, think it now you know it did. You right. Know. So well, where are we yeah. going from here? Yeah. Well, I, we'll, we'll just have to leave it at that. Leave it yeah. at that, and let you guys uh, tell us what you think of this new metric uh, way of um, ranking TV series and films. I know it's better than the old um, way of doing it, where you can just count the views. But what do you think of this one? Do you have an idea to 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 rank films and, and movies on Netflix uh, uh, better? Let us know in the comments down below what you think. You've got six <laughs> <laughs> then it's got six uh, So... That's how easy you want to have down, can't uh, Yeah. Our last topic is... Uh, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody's Anthony McCarthan sues Queen Biopic producers over profits and claims the blockbuster is 51 mil in the red. That's shocking. Mamma mia, mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> that is seriously shocking. So let's read the article first. And where does the article hail from, Mr... Well, funny you say that, my old chum. Yes. Because it comes from deadline. deadline deadline a very reputable source deadline yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the deadline article which is not coming up on my phone so i might have to use yours <laughs> Go for it. thank you uh bohemian rhapsody screenwriter anthony mccarthan has filed a breach of contract suit against graham king and his jk films uh for money old on the 2018 best picture nominated film about queen and its iconic singer freddie mercury the lawsuit hit today and shows a fascinating peek behind the curtain into what happens when participants rely on studio net prof studio net point deals. The fifty five million dollar budget uh, film grossed. Listen to this. Nine hundred and eleven million dollars worldwide. How are you in the red? How? Anyway. anyway read and first. yet, according to accounting statements. Issued by 20th Century Fox Film, Co uh, Film Corporation, Bohemian Rhapsody is in the red to the tune of 51 million. A lot of hands in the pies. Anyway, the legal action is a bit twisty because the producer King and his JK films are named, but not Fox or Disney, which acquired the studio and holds Bohemian Rhapsody in its vast library. The reason for this is McCarthy's suit maintains he made a deal directly with King to receive 5% of JK's take. Eventually, King turned over all of those deals to Fox and now Disney. MacArthur maintains that the deal accounting definitions changed and he has not been paid a cent from his back end deal and that King has been unresponsive to his appeals to get paid. This is a problem that the CAA rep, MacArthur, so you know he's probably gonna win this, <laughs> and his uh, Kingsella, Wiseman, Eisner, Kump, Holly, LLP attorneys want to see sold with monetary damages in an amount to be proven at trial. A full accounting of the movie and a judicial declaration of the party's contractual rights and duties in connection with the writer's agreement. Yeah, I won't go into much more because it pretty much tells the story there. But um, yeah, how it actually actually it says Deadline in a more egregious example, Deadline revealed a Warner Brothers profit statement 
that claim that despite Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix grossing 938 million, the film was 167 million in the red. I don't understand how that can be. Mm. I, I, I really don't. Yeah, Eddie Murphy got there too. He talked about Paramount as well. Yeah, uh, something Eddie Murphy famously called monkey points during a suit against Paramount over coming to America remaining in the red despite grossing 350 mil. Yeah, there's a lot of shady crap going on in 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 Hollywood to be honest with you. Um it doesn't it doesn't fill me with um with confidence in making mm. deals like you know points. You know, I I'd rather just get the damn check mm. up front, you know what mm. I mean? That's what it's seeming it's like. It's seeming like that, isn't it? Unless you got money because you know what kind of money it takes to get um a lawyer yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's um. It ain't like over here, no win, no fee, and that. Just, <laughs> just send any guy in. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, he's rep by CAA, and so yeah, yeah, he's all right. Yeah. He's good. He's, he's right. good. He'll be all right. You know what I mean? They'll First hide. of all, yeah. Did you watch Bohemian Rhapsody? No, no. <laughs> Why? It just doesn't interest me. Okay. I'll be honest with you. It does. I'm probably the only white guy in the UK that's not a Queen fan. I apologise. Yeah, I, I'm not. I, well, I like some of their music, listen, but I, I'm not a Queen listen, fan. Yeah. Say, I'm not a Queen fan. But I, I, but I there is no denying the guy was heavily talented. Talented, yeah. yes, yes, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And the yeah. way he wrote music, I'm not talking about how he lived his life, anything yeah. as a as yeah. a talented yeah, yeah, yeah. artist. Yeah. Yeah. He was absolutely incredible. Yeah. yeah, I'm not not denying that at all. Yeah, though. so just I watched it. Okay, and what did you think of it? It was it was actually a good film. Okay, it was well, a, it, a lot of people I obviously agreed with it. Right? Yeah, it was no, it was a great film. Yeah, you find Remy's portrayal of him spot on. Yeah. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah. yeah. Like he looked like him. He embodied him yeah. in different ways. Mm. Some of it was uncomfortable watching, but that's mm. just for me. Right. That mm. might not be for everyone. So they went into his lifestyle. I yeah, think. lifestyle, okay. the drugs, the this, yeah. the yeah. that. But yeah. it was a good eye opener because, mm -hmm. you know, obviously he came from an Islamic background. Yeah. And yeah. he was gay mm. and yeah. he went to New York and like he just lived a totally different life and being accepted in, mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. so it just it dealt with a lot of issues just on a side note about mm -hmm. him um a lot of people might not re recognize this but i think he had when it came to his lifestyle mm -hmm. and his religious beliefs mm -hmm. i feel maybe i'm wrong but i feel like he had a great conflict and it's, it, it showed it in my mind mm -hmm in that song he did with uh, Behemoth's Rhapsody, yeah. the song he did. Yeah. Because there's a part in there, I know you Bismillah. know. Bismillah. Right, Bismillah. there you go. Bismillah. Bismillah. We were not dead and Right, so do you know what Bismillah means? I've heard the term before. Well, I, means... I've never heard it pronounced like that. Right. Because I always thought it said, Bismillah. I never said no, Bismillah. No, no, I never it's it's Bismillah. Oh, okay. So oh, it means yeah. in the name of Allah. Yeah, no, yeah. Bismillah means... Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so for me, you wouldn't say that in a song Unless you add some belief in that, right? Oh, he mm. did. That, he did. That's what I'm and saying. And he was very conflicted and he was right. very torn. Right. And he had a lot of issues. But at the same and time, I issues. heard he had a great time in terms of He had a great that, time. But, you know what I mean? That but, side of things, yeah. you know, living the lifestyle he lived mm -hmm. contributed to why he died. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah um, obviously, yeah. So, yeah. you know, but that's his life. Yeah. yeah. He right. made listen, decisions. Listen, that's, and, that's, that's... But, as a film, it was a great film. I've heard. And because I've the heard. music is amazing. Yeah. The music and, in and, it and the acting. Well, I, I know the acting must have been top notch because Rami Malik has had a great push since then, hasn't mm, he? Yeah. Um and he's and he's been fantastic in whatever I've seen him in anyway. So. And the other guy, um, played Peter in the Sanders. Yes, yes. He played by Brian May, right? Right. And he, he his was career, it Brian May? I think it was Brian it May. It could be Brian May, yeah, yeah. His but, career's just gone... Yeah. Um, stratus. And he, he played Archangel in... Um, X-Men. Uh, X-Men, Apocalypse. You mean... Um, yeah. Ben? Yeah, He yeah. used to come to Urban Kings in a yeah. while. I met him when he was on EastEnders. Yeah, yeah. He's a nice kid. Nice yeah, he's a nice guy. Nice Bro, I, I, I'm happy for him. I'm and happy for him. He's he, one of the few that's made it out. He knew his time was up. Mm. And he had to move. Got out the right he's time. staying in like Ian Bill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's staying in. Mm. But um, yeah. but the cast was great. Mm. Everything was good. Mm. But it yeah. just shows you the dark side. This money thing. I, I, where is that money? Where? Where? 
Mm. You made 119... No. 119... No, 111 million dollars yeah. grossed. No, that nine, film. No, Bohemian Rhapsody was 900. Bohem you said 950. 950. So, so, what did I say? You said 100 just now. Yeah. Sorry, 950 911. Yeah, Sorry, 911. Yeah. On a 55 million budget. That's right. a runaway So, business. So... So you got the budget, mm. the production budget. You always double it for the marketing, mm. right? Um, 100 million. And yeah, so we so we say 110 million, yeah. right? Um, and then they always say to break even because there's other costs and whatnot. Mm. Always triple the production budget. Take that out of what it's made gross in in gross, mm. and that's your profit. Right. So it's profited... 700 million? Right, at least. <laughs> so what's happened to that money? Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm flummoxed. Like, 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 what has happened? Because obviously everyone who starred in that film got paid. Yeah. Mm. Right? That, that's a given. Because mm. you don't see them moaning about anything. No. Though. So they got paid. Mm. The producers and directors and whatnot, they got paid. Mm. We, we, You know, that's a given. It just seems to me that... The guys who actually, because did he was what he was a uh, he was a writer, wasn't yeah. he? These kind of guys get just get looked over. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, it, and as writers ourselves, yes, yes, um, it's hard work, it, mm. and it's very it's 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 um. What's wow. the word? There's no notoriety really for the writers. Yeah. No, yeah. Not unless you're like Alan Sorkin or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no no they're they're the unsung heroes. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. They're the unsung heroes. 100%. The actors are just the last bit of it. Mm. But the writers, so when they you get overlooked. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm really yeah, I hate that. Yeah, I feel everyone should get their money, especially the writers. The especially writers. when you've made such a massive profit. I don't mm -hmm. understand. Like how how is this money being divvied up? I'm I I I think what needs to happen, maybe mm -hmm. I mean I'm not an expert, but maybe what needs to happen is this when they make this money, it probably needs to be put in escrow. So no one's touching it mm -hmm. and then it can account for what everyone's going to get. And then start divvying it, divvying it up. I mean, what, what do you guys think? Well, I want my money straight away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah but we're talking about points, though. This, oh, if it's points. So this points. is, yeah, because yes. you get your salary All right. up front. Give me my dough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that's you fine. Get, yeah, yeah, but yeah, if it's yeah. a points thing, I want to know how much is in that basket. Right. And how yeah. much is coming to me. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm all for this that. This is why I am, I mean, I used to think that I would do a... A, a fully points based um deal on any sort of big movie if I get if I was lucky enough to be cast in. When is that gonna be cast? Yes. But that's not gonna happen after reading this. <laughs> I want my money up front. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't do that. Because I'm the kind of guy that and he knows I will hound you and I want my money. Yeah. <laughs> and he knows what I mean hound. I really do mean hound. Shark. <laughs> I'll be around your house. Shark infested waters, <laughs> mate. Just be like that through the street. So and I, 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 and I can't do with that stress. I just, so mm. I'd rather just have my money up front. I'm sure you guys, you got kids to feed as well. Mm. I'm sure if it came to that, you would be around people's houses as well. Yeah. <laughs> Two in the morning. You, you know what it is? You know what it is? Are I you mean, awake? You are now? <laughs> See, the thing is, it... Once again, it, it depends. If I'm coming from a place of privilege mm. and I can afford to wait, I can or afford... Or get lawyers. To, or, and to get lawyers, <laughs> yeah. then by all means, I'm going to do it that yeah, way. Yeah. But if it's like they came to us now yeah. and it's like, don't worry, don't need no money, we're going to give you this, it's like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking reduced, I don't care, I need something to walk away with. Yeah. I'm not in that position. I'm not in it, yeah. in it. Not at all. Because... Yeah. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, legally they ain't gonna help me. <laughs> <laughs> Get my money back. No. No. <laughs> and it, no no what was it? No we no fee. Yeah. That's it. Barnes and Rose oh, for whoever man. this is uh, I mean say no win, just what, yeah. what 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 I mean Damien, you know a lot about the ins and outs of um production and, and, and stuff, you know, mm. behind the scenes of, of, of films and stuff. What what do you make of this? Like I don't I mean, the, the biggest red flag for me right now is the fact that they've sold the rights of it to Disney and Fox. Mm. And after what Chapex just come out of with, you know... Scarlett Johansson, yeah. Like, 
I mean, obviously, they've not got full reins over the rights this yet because, it, in terms of the actual court case and the settlement, because mm -hmm. the original agreement was with GK, so they're kind of like they're buying in this problem. Yeah. But if I was, if I'm buying in this problem, I'm Disney. I'm like, pay the guy the money and leave. I don't want any more to be brought up about this. So if I was Disney, how right much now, is he owed? Okay, yeah. but if you see, if, if if Bob Iger was still in charge in Disney, that's mm. what would have happened. Mm. Already, he would have been paid. Mm. Did this, we wouldn't even have seen this story. Yeah, mm. right. Because Bob Iger is a reasonable man; he doesn't like scandal. Yeah. Mm. But John Bob Chapek, as you've seen, yeah, even when he knows one hundred percent he's in the wrong with the Scarlett Johansson thing, mm. he's still trying to hang on in there. He's still yeah. trying to think. That's that, that's a gangster move. You don't you don't do that shit. Mm. Yeah, you know I mean, you've got if you've got a contract. Which he seems to have as well. Yeah. I like you said, it's it's I think it's, it's more about the transfer of rights yeah, and, it's, it's an inherited it's, problem for Disney. Yeah, it's not yeah. a problem that they started. Yeah, so, so I can't so. blame Disney for this yeah. at all. I blame the guy at JK Films, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. But my thing is if you've got a con it's like they're it's like they're trying to say contracts don't mean anything anymore. Because mm. if you've got a contract that clearly states what the terms and conditions are, mm. why would people try and go back on that? Because some people won't chase it up. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. But it, but a contract, it, a contract is nothing until you're in court. Mm. You can say I can say I got a contract with you, and I can say, oh, you know what? Fuck off. Mm. Yeah. I, I see. I see. I, no, <laughs> yeah. you're right. You're right. No, but you're no, but yeah. you are right. And a lot of people take chase it court. Mm. Yeah. And, I a, see lot, it, yeah, and take, a lot of people won't mm. do that. But then why would someone do that with Scar Scarlett Johansson, who obviously has the means oh. to take you to court? You don't want to mess with Scarlett. Mm. That's what I'm and saying. Then Scarlett. And then, and then, and then <laughs> you know and then, that red, <laughs> red for danger. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then on top of that, she's got, that she's got CAA back in her. Mm. You know, I mean, this guy's got CAA, so mm. it's pretty much a wrap. Because yeah. they're not going to back you into doing something that yeah. they're not going to win. Yeah. So there's that. That's point of view. Yeah. So you've got CAA backing you, but also in Scarlett Johansson's case, Kevin Feige and Bob Iger was backing her. And yet Bob Chapek was still going on it like an idiot to the point where they, 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 they disparaged her name, hmm. which in the end meant they had to pay her double what she was even asking for. Well, that's what you get. Mm. So let them pay double again. <laughs> Maybe they'll learn a lesson. Mm. I, I just... want him to get double. Because <laughs> yeah. I want for no, the, no, for, for, for right, any man that's said. never got what they're owed. Yeah, yeah. And we know about getting oh. money what we're owed, bro. bro. For anyone that's never we, got we money, we can tell that stories. Owed, listen, and you know that yeah. <laughs> that will come one day. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. Bro. Right. So for the people that don't get their money, this yeah, mm. yeah, give him double. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm back in. I'm back in Anthony McCarthy because. Mm -hmm. As Leon and, and Damien quite rightly said, you know, these writers are uns unsung heroes. Mm. Um, and it is extreme. We, we are all writers as well. Mm. And it is extremely hard to write something. It is, mm. it, it's very time consuming. It's, it's very taxing. Yes. Mm. You, you know, yes, it is. Yes. And on top of everything else that you've got to do, it, yeah, it's. And I feel for this guy, um, especially when you've got a contract, you've made a deal, it's on paper. Mm. And then people are trying to stiff you yeah. same way. And even you think though, you think you know. you're making a deal with someone reputable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what it is. You're not making a deal with you know Johnny yeah. down the road. Yeah, yeah. I mean you, you're you're talking about a film, a production that almost made a billion dollars mm. and on that, a fifty-five million right, budget. Right, right. Yeah. And then you're trying to tell me after that that it's in the red fifty-one like, million. How much was Joker made for? But it's almost same where I was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that film in the red right now? Right. Well, we don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say. We, do, do you know it what I mean? Could be. It could yeah. be. Supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand it. Someone teething at the account. So I'm just saying it's in the red. Something yeah. is happening in the accounts department, and yeah. someone's teething out money. Stifling. Yes. 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 Well, as, as a mafia lot would say, someone's skimming from the top. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> skimming. skimming. Yeah. They're, like, they're scooping <laughs> from the top. <laughs> uh, oh, that, do you know, that, uh, just a quick tangent. You, I know you're a big fan of Casino. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You're, 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 never mind. Yeah, yeah, never yeah. mind. <laughs> so you know that scene. Let the grown up Yeah, yeah, let the grown up. You know that scene in Casino when... The, the guy who's in charge of watching the skim, he's going to all the bosses. Yeah. And he's going, 
Well, it's considered leakage, and then one yeah. of the bosses go, leakage my balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the guys are robbing us. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Leakage. You know. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah, it's considered leakage. <laughs> <laughs> leakage my balls. <laughs> I haven't seen Casino. Don't yeah, get me. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah, but yeah, go. let us know what you think, guys. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's a fantastic tale, and I don't mean that in a good sense. Um, let us know what you think about all this. I mean, would you encourage actors now to, or, or anyone involved in a production to take money up front and forget about these point steals? Um, yeah, I mean, do you back this guy taking, you know, going after his money, especially after what you heard about with Scarlett Johansson? You know, this guy has a contract. Let us know what you think down below um, about all of this. And with all that said, that is the end of the show. Boom scare. <laughs> so, um, I'd like to go to Damien first. Damien, where can all our supporters find you? As per usual, you can find me uh, begging on every bus stop, train station, <laughs> and uh, airport in the country. And uh, Ooh, you have more airport money. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I walk there. Um, it's, it's a free, it's a three day journey. Um, yeah, on Damien Ashley at, at Twitter, on Damien Ashley Instagram, find me on Larry Alabamiwo's Twitter and Instagram. Don't really pay attention to mine. And um, <laughs> Leon's one, which is non existent. Yeah, exactly. And, and, uh, yeah. yeah, you can find me here. <laughs> here. In my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. right yeah. here. I'm it doesn't move from the couch this is our episode studio. To episode. This is our studio. This is it. Yeah. So where can they find you, Leon? At Larry Olivari Wall. Okay. On Twitter and yes. Instagram. Okay. And you can find me at Larry Olivari Wall on Twitter and at Larry Olivari Wall on Instagram. Uh, please have a look at all of our um, IMDb pages as well. You can see what we've been in, what we have coming up. Hopefully, uh, yeah. um, so they're under each of the, each of our names, obviously. And uh, yeah, just support everything that we're doing. Um, we've got a lot of things coming up. So please like, yeah, please, please share, share, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, we're just trying to grow, grow, yeah. grow the channel. Yeah, you know, hundred percent. And we're, we're we're really we're really pleased and thankful for your support so far. You know, yeah. yeah, really, really going well. And we hope you continue in that vein. So from me and the rest of the guys.